um, since 99. Um, but before that, I'm originally from Astalavera. Well, Godagraig. Did go away for how many years? Six years to Scotland and Chippenham. But other than that, yeah. Oh, my husband's in the RAF, or he was in the RAF, yeah. Um, he was in charge of radios and all that sort of stuff, yeah. Um, I did do other work, yeah, but part-time around what they were doing, really. A bit of um, restauranting, cleaning, uh, all sorts. When we were away, I think the, the littlies, Jack and Maggie, my, my son and daughter, the, they were about were they six and seven. So I thought if we didn't come home then, we never would have. And I was, I was longing for home. I, I needed to come home, so uh, we decided that Malk would stay away and we'd move back to Wales and yes, yeah, the best thing, it's the best thing we've ever done. Well, he was in London by that time, <laughs> so we left him in London. <laughs> he used to come back weekends and stuff, yeah. Yeah, people are friendlier, you know, you could talk on the bus, <laughs> you'd hear someone's life story by the time you got to Swansea at times and yeah, it's... Um, it's just a, a very a very good community to live in and bring children up in, I'd say. I never did. Oh, you never did no. He went there. Yeah, he went there. Yeah, and we came home. So I think that was the catalyst, really, of us moving back home because it was Scotland and Chippenham. And when we were in Chippenham, he was going to be posted to London. And we decided then that we didn't want to go. So that's when we came home and Malk went up to London. Yeah, for, I think it must have been about four five years I think yeah something like that yeah it affair I suppose what it does to me is give me some time to myself um, just just me and my painting or my drawing and um, you just don't think about anything else you just you're just there and you're doing your stuff and that and that's it and it does it takes your mind off for absolutely everything else that's what I love about it Oh, Cwmtorch is lovely. <laughs> it is, it's lovely there. Um, there's a Cwmtorch Miners Welfare Hall, which my husband's the um, chair and I'm secretary of. And we try, we, well, we're trying to keep it open. That's what we're doing, is, is trying to keep it open. And it is, it's a, it's a lovely community. We all get together. It's a bit of a job getting people out of their houses sometimes. Why do you think that is? Oh, I don't know, too many... Too many things on the telly, perhaps, or out all day working and getting home and thinking, oh no, I'm not going out again and staying put. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're keeping the hall open. Do you think COVID added to that? Yes, big time. Did it to me for a while, really. Once you're in that COVID, you're in your bubble, weren't you? And it was, it's really difficult to get back out there. It has been difficult to get back out there. And I'm still, <laughs> with work, I suppose it's still. We're still fighting not to go back in the office, really. <laughs> we want to stay home. Oh, um, we have um, a record fair and coffee morning every first Saturday of the month. Um, oh, there's loads of friendship groups that happen there. The choir, Cora Garalais, uh, practice there. Um, what else is there? The friendship group. Oh, arthritis versus arthritis is there, and and that's once a month that one is. Uh, but yeah, and there's children's cr uh, parties and adults parties. It's just it's a job. We have our usuals, but it it is starting. It people are starting to realise that they can use the hall and they can come down just to have a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, and a piece of cake. You know. And it is, it is starting to get quite busy, really. But it is a job. <laughs> but then again, you, you, we've got an older generation in, in the group. It, well, some of them are really good on Facebook and internet and whatever, but there are some that says, oh, didn't know what was going on. So how on earth we get through to them, I'm not really sure, unless we do a leaflet drop, which takes forever income, you know, so... Yeah, I suppose we'd have to think about how we could get to them because some don't go on Facebook and not internet savvy. Yeah. 
Well, what I find with the people that move into Wales is that they want to get involved in the community. So um, you find that their children go to Welsh schools, they learn the Welsh language, and I think that's a good thing. Yeah, they're totally immersed because that's what they miss where they come from. That's what my experience anyway. Ah, oh, right, OK. Um, she she was a nurse here when it was a TB hospital. Um, she was my grandfather's sister. So, uh, Will Reza Harvard's sister. And she... She never married my Auntie Anne. And I've got pictures of her up here with her friends of the time, dressed as a, well, a nurse, isn't it? And, uh, yeah, she, she nursed TB patients here. Oh, my goodness, I knew you were going to ask me that. When was she born? 1906 she was born. So, 1920s, 1920s, maybe early 1930s. Is she still with us? No, no, she's gone. Yeah, she's gone. Yeah, and she showed me photographs, which I've got. I've got the photographs of her. And she, yeah, she told me that she worked here and I've got a certificate of nursing. <laughs> so I've got all that in my little suitcase back home. So, yeah, she she was very proud of the fact that she, she worked up here. Yeah. The other thing about this place is I had my 40th birthday party here, all dressed up. And my daughter had um, a baby shower in there for our first grandchild, girl. Yeah. Oh, ever since I've been a, a tutty little thing. Yeah, yeah, because, well, the park and everything and, and just seeing it because it's just, it looks as if it's just landed from out of space. <laughs> it really does. It's such a beautiful place to come to. Yeah, so it's always been part of our lives, really. Folly. I'd say it was a castle. I'm sure other people would call it a folly. And, and she spent so much money on it. She spent so much money because before Adelina Party came, it was just a small little place. Well, so small, smaller than this anyway. Yeah, but she, she did. She spent a fortune, but I think it needs another fortune spent on it. Um, Annie Jane Reese. Annie Jane Reese, and she also remembers Adelina Party. Um, she told me this Adelina Party coming down to visit a big house down in La Slavera. I think it was Fountain Hall, she said. And she used to throw money out. So whenever they knew Adelina Party was coming down, <laughs> or everyone used to be out on the streets, because she did used to throw money out for the children. <laughs> yeah. She liked Adelina party. 